here is another brain tumor. I think we're getting pretty good at picking these out uh, quickly uh, because they look so much different from the normal brain. Uh, notice this is a cerebellum because you have the small folia rather, which are linear rather than the larger, more irregular gyri and sulci, which you see in the cerebrum. Also noted, note that this could very well be the uh, fourth ventricle as well. Notice that the at least half of this tissue here, certainly all of this tissue and all of this hemorrhagic stuff here does not look like normal brain tissue in which you could see demarcation between gray matter and like and white matter, which you could see along here. This is the brain tumor. This is one of the uh, few brain tumors in which the cells of origin are actually neuronal origin. 90 plus percent of the brain tumors are not tumors of neurons, but they're tumors of the uh, glial cells like astrocytes, like oligodendrocytes. This particular type of tumor is actually derived from neural type cells. And the thing that makes this uh, type of tumor so very distinct is that it is almost always found in the midline of the cerebellum of young children. This is a medulloblastoma. Here is a, a microscopic view of the tumor and even from this power you could see how intensely hemorrhagic it is. It seems like, or actually I should say vascular as well as hemorrhagic, it seems like about 50% of this cross-sectional area is either blood vessel or hemorrhage. In addition, the tumor cells uh, show areas here in which there is considerable edema and possibly necrosis between the nuclei. And in areas here, it is densely, densely compacted with nuclei. And also notice how, like many of the other brain tumors, it is a perivascular pattern of growth in which the tumor cells uh, grow around the blood vessel. This is a medulloblastoma. I want to show you one more uh, area here uh, for comparison microscopically. You can see that this is a uh, classical cerebellum. You can see these large Purkinje cells uh, at the edge of these granular cells here. And then you could see meninges, and then you could see some more tissue, which doesn't look like there's differentiation between gray matter, white matter, folia, Purkinje cells at all. This is really an unorganized mess of uh, very, very, very primitively looking tumor cells relatively small nuclei, but extremely vascular and extremely hemorrhagic, as you could see here. And thank you very much.